Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, aka your poop cure and gut microbiome expert. Visit us at for more information on what you can do to help out with your gut health to get down to the root cause of what's going on and get you feeling better. So gastric erosion is a very common condition that I see in the GI tract. And a lot of people suffer from issues when it comes to gastric erosions or inflammation going on inside that stomach. So what exactly are erosions? So erosions are what we call pre-ulcers inside the stomach. So there's a wide spectrum of how inflammation occurs within the stomach, starting off with a normal stomach, going to gastritis, erosions, and eventually what's called an ulcer in the stomach. And these can manifest in many different symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, upset stomach, to something as bad as an ulcer, which can present as poor appetite, difficulty eating, black stools, vomiting blood, and for some people, even causing a tear in that stomach. And so what we try to do is find out exactly what's going on. So an upper endoscopy is a very effective option that allows us to see exactly what's going on. And on this upper endoscopy, you can see what are called erosions or small little pre-ulcers in the stomach. This individual is complaining of nausea and vomiting for quite some time. They did an ultrasound and a high scan. Nothing was found. Everything came back normal. So because of that, we ended up doing what's called an upper endoscopy or an EGD. And here you can see the erosions in the stomach. So when we see something like this, there are a couple of things I think about that can cause these erosions. So number one, alcohol. We know that alcohol can cause inflammation inside that stomach. It's called reactive gastritis. Number two is bile. When you've removed your gallbladder, the gallbladder is an organ that stores bile. When you remove that organ, bile just reflux up into the stomach to cause bile acid reflux. Number three, smoking. Absolutely, smoking can cause inflammation and erosions to occur. A lot of people underestimate smoking as a cause for this. Now we do know that cigarette smoking causes this. What we don't know is whether other smokes, other smoking, whether it's weed, marijuana, things like that can cause this inflammation to occur. Number four, H. pylori. H. pylori is a gram negative bacteria that commonly can cause inflammation and irritation to occur. Now, using the setting of H. pylori, the erosions or the inflammation can be all throughout the stomach, but certainly it can be localized in certain areas as well. But lastly, the most common cause, NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, Aleve, Naproxen, Advil, Motrin, but also blood thinners as well, things like Plavix, medications like that, can certainly cause erosions to occur. Now, in this case, this individual was taking Advil for her knee pain, and so, very easy fix. We put her on acid-reducing medication and we had her stop the Advil and try a different pain medication instead. So if you're having issues with your stomach and you see erosions that are in there, these are the things that I look for or I kind of try to figure out to see exactly what the cause is because once we find out the cause, then we can find out what we can do to get that resolved, get that taken care of. Now, if you like videos like this,